Hi guys, it's Sarah. I'm back with another video and today I am reviewing the Artist Loft Dual Tip Sketch Markers. Um, this was a neutral set. I just wanted to pick up um, just kind of a set that I could use. The other sets were all bold colors, so I really wanted to use this one uh, because I thought it had like the best range in it. And they are alcohol-based markers, and they are similar to Copics, where they have the chisel nib on one end, and then the brush tip on the other. And as far as like cheaper markers go, these are probably one of the better ones I've tried so far. I haven't tried them all. I haven't tried Ohuhu yet. Um, I definitely want to try those because I know people seem to like those a lot. But yeah, I really liked this range and right now I'm swatching all the colors and it definitely had a lot of skin tones and then like some pinks in there. So I thought that'd be the most versatile um, set to use. Um, I would suggest if you're just starting out with alcohol based markers, instead of diving into Copic markers and kind of like going into the plunge and just buying the most expensive thing you can, I would definitely try and um, invest in a cheaper brand so that you can figure out, you know, how the markers work and how they blend together and kind of get the feel of them. Because if you dive right in to the expensive stuff, you know, you might not like it, you might not find it appealing to your art style or you may just be confused or you may ruin your markers because um, you didn't you know have any experience using something prior to that so i would definitely recommend getting like a cheaper brand first before diving into copics i know when i first started i used a um, these, they were like alcohol-based markers from Barnes & Noble. It was like a, I don't know, maybe like 24 set or something like that. But I think that like using that definitely gave me, um, kind of some insight on how markers work and how they blend together when they're alcohol-based and just kind of gave me a good feel for markers and what I wanted. And it definitely helped me later on when I actually got my Copics and I kind of had, you know, some knowledge prior to, um, you know, the Copic markers. And then I had that knowledge and I applied it to when I used my Copic markers. So um, I think definitely invest in a cheaper brand. I think these Artist Loft ones are totally fine if you're just starting out or if you're just trying to get a feel for markers or want to see if it is for you. I think these are definitely worth a try. Uh, like I said, the only real issue I had was with the nibs on the brush side. They do fray and kind of, I would say, split apart a little bit as you use them as they get wear and tear. But it's not as bad as the last brand I reviewed, which were the hashtag coloring markers. That is exactly what it said on the package. Um, but these are definitely better than those. And um, yeah, I don't really mind these at all. I think these are really good alternatives and I think at Michael's when you um, look at these markers I'm pretty sure they have like an open case where you can buy just single markers if I'm not mistaken I'm pretty sure I saw that you can buy like single markers or you can buy the sets if you want um, all the sets were like six pieces I believe there might have been bigger ones I can't remember um, but I would definitely, if you're going to start out, I would definitely get a neutral set with some skin tones like this one. And then maybe like, I don't know, one of the other bolder sets for like clothes and stuff. Or maybe if you want to just get the neutral set and then like a couple of like colors from the singles that you really, really like. Like I know for me, I really love like pinks and blues and like, you know, minty green and stuff like that. I definitely gravitate towards those colors a lot. So I would definitely just get colors that you like and you know that you're going to use. That way you're not kind of wasting your time and your money. Um, yeah, I really do like these markers. They're not bad at all. I think I might actually like use them alongside my Copics because they are super similar. Um, if you guys know any markers that you would want me to try, leave them down below so that way I can get to it and um, do a review on them. But I think 
as far as cheaper markers go, I think these, yeah, these are definitely the best I've tried so far. Those last ones we tried were really bad. I don't know if you guys remember that, but like they had like all these weird clumps on the the brush nibs, which was really, really weird. Like, oh, you know what it was? It looked like crystallization. That's what it looked like. Like something was off with like the formula or something. Those were definitely not worth the money but <laughs> i think i think these are i think these are definitely worth the money and this second design that i'm doing here i definitely really fell in love with i don't know why um i def like i said i love pink so <laughs> i gave her pink hair and i just really liked this whole design and it was something that i wanted to keep going with so when you see the, I'm getting a little ahead, but when you see the final artwork, it was definitely based off of this one, and I don't know what it was about this. Um, you know, one of the colors is called Mecca, and I think that kind of inspired, like, all the little, like, shards in the background and, like, her little, like, I don't know, winged ears or something, so I don't know why. I kind of just made her, like, a kind of like a Mecca angel type of girl and I think I just really liked that idea and I just wanted to keep going with it so in the final illustration I can't talk today in the final illustration I uh, kept her and I kind of made a better rendition of her and I think it actually came out pretty good I'm not um I'm not trying to toot my own horn but I actually like it even though it is the typical winky face but I just didn't know what I wanted to draw and that's exactly what I draw when I don't know what I want so um yeah but I do like her and I do like these markers and if I am being honest I would give them probably like a four out of five because the nibs do seem to fray and they're not refillable at all so you would have to keep buying the actual marker you know what I mean because Copics are refillable um, you just buy the refills these ones are not so yeah but i still think they're really good especially if you're just starting out and you want something that you know you can practice with i think these are really good so i give these four out of five stars and if you guys have tried them let me know um how do you like them do you think they're good do you think they're bad what's wrong with them um, i'd like to know down below for me i really like them uh, but that's just me and my personal opinion um, I hope you guys like this artwork. I definitely really love the way she came out at the end. Um, and let me know what type of videos you'd like to see next. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.